I've been helping people reach their wellness goals since 1994. Today I'm excited to share with you some new research in the vitamin and mineral supplement industry. As you may know, the industry has been under scrutiny by the media because of the prevalence of false claims, misleading labels, and lack of empirical research. CBC Marketplace in the Fifth Estate just ran documentaries about the supplement industry and lack of regulation to protect consumers. You can't always believe what promotional ads say, and now we're discovering that many brands, including some of the big ones like Jameson and GNC, don't have in the bottle what it says on the label. So how does the average consumer shop for supplements? Well, first of all, stats say that more than 50% of North Americans are taking a regular supplement of some sort, whether it's omega-3s or glucosamine, vitamin C, or a basic multivitamin. How do they make decisions? Often it's based on what they see advertised or what they're drawn to in the store. Often a large brand name like GNC is a trusted resource and consumers will forego the drugstore thinking they're getting a better product there. The truth is that most supplements have the same huge flaw. They're not readily absorbable. Studies are now showing that you can actually do more damage than good when you take too many supplements and when they're not properly utilized by the body. Minerals give off free radicals when they're not absorbed, so the antioxidants like vitamins A, C, and E are used up battling them long before they can benefit the body themselves, being rendered useless. It's like one cancels out the other. Maybe you've heard the term free radicals but don't really know what it means. Free radicals have been linked to the aging process as well as all major diseases including cancer. Here's a short tutorial on free radicals. Free radicals. We live with them every moment of our lives. And even though we can't see them, their power is undeniable. Slice an apple and it will soon start to turn brown. Leave iron out in the elements and it will eventually rust. These are examples of a natural process called oxidation. And oxidation leads to the formation of free radicals. Our bodies are also subject to the potential damage of oxidation in free radicals. And while the damage is not easily seen after minutes or days, like it is with an apple, over time, it does add up and can eventually take a huge toll on your health. It's not unlike the effects of a raindrop on the face of a mountain. Just as a single raindrop does no harm, and even a single rain shower causes no perceptible damage, a million rain showers over time will erode the mountain until it eventually ceases to exist. So it is with free radicals. That's why free radicals are the cause of so much concern. Free radicals have a variety of negative effects on the cells they come in contact with. When free radicals interact with cells, they can damage protein, lipids, and even DNA. This damage limits the cell's ability to function properly. Just as one raindrop is not a big concern, the free radical problem extends beyond a single damaged cell. That's because free radicals don't simply damage one cell. They can set off a chain reaction of damage, and these chain reactions can overwhelm the body's natural defense mechanisms. Over time, those little radicals can add up to big problems. More and more, science is finding that free radicals are the first domino that kickstarts a chain reaction that can lead to a whole host of health concerns, including degenerative conditions as well as contributing to aging. And while smoking is one of the biggest ways to introduce free radicals into your system, the very environment we live in is also a big contributor. Free radicals can come from outside sources such as overeating, preservatives and chemicals in foods, pollution, radiation, and sunburn. Free radicals can also come from inside the body. These include elevated levels of insulin, poor diet, lack of sleep, physical stress, anxiety, and even aging. In fact, the amount of free radicals we are exposed to is much, much higher today than it was 200 years ago. Free radicals are an inescapable fact of life. Fortunately, you are not defenseless. Antioxidants are the natural solution for free radicals and thousands of different antioxidants are created in your body, as long as your body is receiving the critical nutrition it needs. There are also special antioxidants you can only get from the food you eat and the supplements you take. But not all antioxidants are the same. Some, like vitamin C, are water-soluble and stop free radicals in your fluids and blood. Others, like vitamin E, are fat-soluble and stop free radicals in your fat cells and muscles. Different antioxidants work in different ways and in different parts of the body. 
Some nutrients like the polyphenolic compounds and flavonoids found in highly pigmented fruits and vegetables help your body produce its own powerful antioxidant system. Unlike antioxidant vitamins that can only stop one free radical chain reaction before they're used up, these antioxidants are self-renewing, allowing them to fight free radicals indefinitely. That's why the best defense against free radicals is getting plenty of antioxidants from a broad spectrum of sources. But diet alone is not enough to provide your body with the variety and amount of antioxidants your body needs to combat today's high levels of free radicals. Luckily, the right supplementation can meet your body's needs if you take products that are proven to work. Free radicals are everywhere, but if we can reduce the amount of free radicals in the body, we can hope to slow down the aging process and hope to reduce the likelihood of contracting degenerative conditions in the future. You know, over the past few decades, it has become abundantly clear that we cannot get all the nutrition we need from our diets alone. The Canada Food Guide recommends seven to 10 servings a day of fruits and vegetables. Check out these stats on the average American diet from 2009. Only 12% come from fruits and vegetables, and a whopping 63% comes from processed foods. Canada's numbers would be similar. And even if you did eat carefully and choose wisely, food today doesn't have the same nutritional value it had years ago. In fact, research shows that today's foods have far less nutritional value than they did 30 to 50 years ago. Overprocessing, early ripening, pesticide use, soil depletion, and monocropping has given us hollow architecture. Fruits and vegetables that look like they're supposed to on the outside, but are severely lacking in nutritional value on the inside. So if you're part of that group that represents 50% of the population, people who already see the need for supplementation and who are already spending money there, you owe it to yourself to check out the latest research in free radical prevention and vitamin mineral absorption. There is astounding little research in this field that anyone is willing to share. And why is that? Because to date, any supplements examined show no evidence to support their claims. All you will hear is anecdotal stories, testimonials, and promises. In April of last year, a study was commissioned out of Freiburg University in Germany. This university was chosen because the leading scientist in the world in free radical research, Dr. Bruno Fink, is based there. The instrumentation to test blood levels and see free radical activity is only available at a few locations worldwide, and Freiburg University is one of them. Now up to this point, all brands tested showed no statistical relevance in, di in terms of difference in blood levels. Peak performance is different. It incorporates a patent delivery system called oligofructose complex, or oligo for short, and it mimics the way the minerals appear in nature and cause a much higher solubility. Levels that match what you would get from eating real food, like nature intended. Most supplements on the market have 10% or less solubility. Peak performance supplements can claim over 85%. That's a huge difference. The study was done with 48 healthy human subjects of various ages. None of the test subjects had been diagnosed with any disease prior to the study, and none were taking any type of medication. However, according to their health markers, 24 of the subjects had metabolic syndrome, like elevated blood pressure, cholesterol, or body weight, but all still within what doctors would consider a normal range. The other 24 subjects had healthy markers closer to what would be considered ideal. The methodology of the study consisted of taking blood from each individual subject. Blood samples were tested for free radical activity, cholesterol levels, blood lipid levels, C-reactive protein, which is an indication of inflammation in the body, glucose levels, insulin response, and also inflammation. Dr. Fink also recorded heart rate and blood pressure. Measurements were taken before and immediately after a specific prescribed amount of exercise. Subjects were asked to come to the lab having fasted for eight hours. The test went on for a period of 12 weeks. Each subject was asked not to change anything about their lifestyle or diet during those 12 weeks, except the take peak performance pack that was given to them. Subjects were asked to take the peak performance pack twice a day for a period of six weeks and then return to the lab where the identical tests were repeated. And here are the results after just six weeks. Free radical activity in the blood dropped by over 20% and by over 25% during exercise. Total cholesterol was down 7.5% for healthy subjects and 8.5% in those with elevated levels. 
triglycerides were down over 8% and down a whopping 23% in those with elevated levels. Systolic blood pressure was down 5.2%. And the medical community is in unanimous agreement that lowering one's heart rate can reduce risk of heart disease and stroke and prolong your life. At the six-week mark, heart rate dropped by eight beats per minute during the exercise. And here's some good news for anyone wanting to reduce cravings, stop snacking, and lose weight, as well as for anyone with blood sugar issues such as premetabolic syndrome or diabetes. Post-meal blood sugar spikes drop by over 37%. C-reactive protein in the blood is an indicator of inflammation in the body. At the 12-week mark, CRP levels were down over 34%. So what do these results mean for you? Quite simply, they mean you can trust that this supplement works. It does what it promises to do. Yes, we have lots of success stories and testimonials, but we also have peer-reviewed empirical research that proves beyond any doubt that peak performance can have a significant impact on your overall health. I've been taking peak performance since they were introduced last year, and I've noticed a significant improvement in my sleep patterns. I used to have a hard time falling asleep and staying asleep at night. Not anymore. I also find I don't experience that late afternoon lull in my energy. And I've heard countless of stories from peak performance customers, from reduction in inflammation pain to reduced migraines and better immune systems. One of my customers suffers fibromyalgia, and with the help of peak performance metabolic pack, she's symptom free. Why not take our 60 day challenge? Try the peak performance risk free for two months. And if you don't notice a difference in your energy level or overall health, you can get a 100% refund. Better yet, why not have your blood levels taken before starting the supplement and then again at the six week mark? The peak performance pack is a 30 day supply of easy to use AM and PM packs. If your cupboard looks like this one, you'll be happy to know that this can all be replaced by these easy to use packs. The basic peak performance pack is available for women, men, and longevity. We also have condition specific packs. The metabolic pack that includes Nutritherm, a stimulant free, drug free metabolism booster, the heart health pack, bone and joint health pack, brain health pack, and the total pack that includes everything. Please ask the person who invited you to see this video for more details on these packs, what's in them, how they can benefit you. You can also check out the research.